Hi, Tom. How's the college visit? Does it make the shortlist? Yeah, I'm afraid so. It's okay. This is what we've been planning for. Knowing our clients personally is why Edward Jones is the big company that doesn't act that way. It's time for the Edward Jones Tiger Cage. And this week in the Edward Jones Tiger Cage, we continue with Gary Pinkle. And Coach, wanted to kind of run down some of the names, moments, places that uh, have been impacted uh, by you and your program over the last 15 years and just kind of get your, your reactions to them. Uh, when I say the zoo, what does that mean to you? Well, that was frustration when I got here because we couldn't win a home game. I mean, we really struggled or very few home games. And before you can win at all, you have to be able to win at home. Then, then, then you win on the road first. And so uh, I was driving my motorcycle, I think, one, the summer before 2003. And I said, we got we to kind of erase what's happened here in the last few years. There's been some great years in our stadium. And we're going to rename it the zoo. And we're going to keep a record from that point on of our win-loss record. And so uh, I think that's why, we, that's why that, that was the meaning for doing it. Uh, obviously, it's a great catch name. I think it's a name that uh, with great respect for that stadium and, and our fan base, how awesome it was, and think of some of the great, great victories in that place in the 15 years I've been here. Brad Smith. Uh, needed a catalyst when we got here. Uh, needed somebody, a difference maker. And a young guy from uh, Youngstown, Ohio, comes in here, Brad Smith, Red Sherman's his first year, and the rest is history. You know, played eight years in the NFL. Uh, remarkable young man. We all know that. And... Uh, he was a, the catalyst. He was a he was a guy that came in and, and was a difference maker, which allowed our program to advance. And um, you know, certainly blessed to have him. What did Chase Daniel mean to this program? Chase Daniel, uh, probably you know, being the quarterback that kind of got us uh, in the national uh, spotlight. You know, 2007. You know, we're ranked number one at the end of the season before we go in the championship game. Um, you know, miss miss miss. We win that game and win the national championship. Well, he's a part of all that and some of the great receivers and the great players on both sides of the football that took Mizzou winning at a different level. 2007, 2008, uh, you know, double-digit wins. 2009, we backed off a little bit, went to a bowl. 2010, double-digit wins again. So it just kind of elevated the program to a different level. How about Michael Sam? Uh, just uh, Michael's a great kid. Love him. Uh, you know, thinking, you know, you know that, that, that social... That social uh, uh, you know, thing that happened was was different than you know anybody's ever experienced before in college football, and um, you know that's how our team handled it. So proud of our team, um, and you know it was it was not about you know, your beliefs and things. It was more about being respectful to people at the end of the day, and uh, very proud of our team how we handled handled that when when uh, he came out and it was it was pretty awesome. And without naming individual names, all of your assistant coaches and staff members over the years. Well, I can name names forever there. And all the players, all the players that have been remarkably committed, you know, and I got all these letters and emails in the last three weeks and text messages and phone calls from guys that have played, you know, even some guys at Toledo, but certainly, you know, the guys that have played here in the last 15 years. And just, you know, not just the impact of, and, and being a part of winning and being part of the success and the great coaching staffs that we had. It was, it was, it was, it was, you know, that, that what, what they did here, they carry over into their personal life, their business life, and, you know, those things are remarkably rewarding. Big thanks to our sponsor, Edward Jones, a proud supporter of Mizzou Athletics. For more information or to find your nearest Edward Jones financial advisor, visit edwardjones.com. So what about that stock? Actually knowing the kind of risk that you're comfortable with, I'd steer clear. Straight talk multiplied by 13,000 financial advisors. It's how Edward Jones makes sense of investing.